Hello, you guys. Guess who is vlogging? Me. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Amanda Marie, and over here I talk about all things fragrance. So today is Saturday, um, and this vlog, honey, is not going to be anything major. Like, this is not like the other girls, okay? This is very introductional, very simple, very, you know, kind of mid, okay? A mid vlog, if you will. But I decided to buy me a vlogging camera. I've actually been wanting one for a while. And I went ahead and uh, bit the bullet and bought me one. And I like this one. This is the Sony V1F. I believe that's what it is. I will link everything down below if you want to purchase or look into this camera. I use the Canon to actually sit down and record my videos. So I had to watch some tutorials last night to really, you know, figure out what the hell I'm doing with this camera, honey. Just like the basic basics, okay? Um, and so I think that I got the basics down. Enough to make it through the day, okay? But um, I like this. I like the video quality. It's really crisp, you know, and I like that. Um, so anyway, I didn't do a get ready with me. I'm already dressed. I'm going to show y'all what I got on. I'm real simple. I feel like I'm really too dressed up for an hour flight, okay? I'm in Houston in case y'all don't know, but I'm getting ready to go to Dallas for an event with the Elemental Fragrances Black on brand. They're going to be at the Scent Room today. It's April 13th, and I'm just going to go support I've actually always wanted to go to the scent room in Dallas. Um, I just, I had never made my way there. But today we're going there. So uh, I need to be at the airport at 325. And, well, no, child. I need to be at the airport by 230, okay? So it is 105 now. So I have a little bit of time. I need to go by the ATM and get some cash. I do plan on buying something there. Um, maybe a couple, couple bottles, we'll see. I ain't gonna go too crazy, but I, I'm gonna buy some. Okay, I'm gonna buy something, but yeah, I like this camera. I do have the Sony kit that goes with it, you know, where you can hold it up and record and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. But like I said, April is really turning out to be a busy month for me. I'm really excited and I'm really nervous at the same time, seeing as though I haven't been outside um, at all, really, uh, just due to anxiety. Um, I've never really been a person to have anxiety the way I have right now and maybe it's just my nerves maybe i'm just um nervous you know just to get outside and meet people but it's happening girl i mean i can't stop the flow now like either i'm gonna get with it or i'm not okay and i refuse to be defeated so i'm gonna get with it honey i got i got the scent room today i got another event coming up on saturday here in houston um just a small little meet and greet with chris collins and um and some other influencers just a, it's very intimate you know it's not anything big i'm actually going to the nordstrom trend is it beauty trend event that morning saturday morning and then later on that evening um I have a very intimate event set up with Chris Collins and a few influencers. And then Sunday, I got an event with 54 Thrones. Uh, they are actually a brand that's in Sephora. And um, the owner, I want to say she lives in Houston, but that brand, they're from Houston. So they're having a cute little uh, sip and paint type of situation at a park on Sunday, April 21st. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get my camera vlogging situation going, girl. You know what I mean? And so we're going to do it. So let me show you guys what I have on. Oops. Okay. Um, my dad, he 
loves to wear boots and so he shined these for me and they actually came out really nice um i'm wearing a pair of calvin klein jeans i'm wearing a simple little button down shirt you know i got it kind of you know i'm doing my thing i got it kind of um out here out in the back i didn't want to look too girl too nerdy or whatever you know the truth of the matter is you guys I have no clothes okay I have no clothes and that's because I ain't been outside I ain't been outside in like oh my god three or four years so I have no clothes but we will work on that as time goes by we will work on getting our fashion up but anyway but yeah, I don't know how y'all vlogging girlies do it. I really don't know how y'all do it, but I guess I'm about to learn how y'all do it. Have patience with me because I barely know how to work my Canon when it comes to like sitting down and recording my videos. And now I have a whole new camera to work with and it's not even a Canon, it's a Sony. So it's, the functions are kind of the same it's just different wording. Thank God for YouTube University, child. Where would I be without YouTube University? So, all right, it is almost 1.15. We're going to cut the chit chat. I will try to see if I can mount you guys up in the car. Okay, if not, I will come back on once I get to the airport. All right, I am in the car. Can y'all even see me? Let me go out, girl. The long and short of it is, I'm gonna have to buy me a mount for the camera while I'm in the car because um, I don't wanna break my camera and yeah, anyway. Um, but that's gonna be laid on down the road, honey. I'm not doing, buying all that stuff right now. I'm not buying all that stuff. I just find myself buying too much equipment and I just I don't want to be doing all that right now um and then I, I noticed that some of the same things I buy the same things over and over again girl I got so much equipment when it comes to recording I got 20 million thousand tripods I'm not buying all this stuff right now I barely wanted to buy this camera truth be told okay but i said you know what it's time for me to level up my game okay it's time for me to level up and especially if i'm i'm gonna be outside you know i want to start vlogging you know my events and stuff so um i felt like that was a this was a good investment but we are on the way to uh hobby airport my flight is at 325 like I said I don't have to be there until um, I want to get there at least by and I look very dark I don't even know how to um, should I open my roof there we go open the roof girl <laughs> uh, I don't even know I don't forgot what I was saying but um, I think if I get there at 2 30 I'll be okay I'm giving myself an hour for traffic really 45 minutes for traffic and I'm gonna park off-site which means I gotta catch like the shuttle and um, it'll take me to uh, the southwest um, desk or whatever I ain't checking no I'm not spending the night, y'all. I'm literally just doing a turnaround flight. Um, my flight back home is going to be tonight. Uh, I want to say it takes off at 8. So I need to be at the airport by 7. So when I tell y'all this is literally me going to support and me coming back to the house, okay? Because I want to sleep in my own bed tonight. When I wake up Sunday morning... I want to be in my own shit. 
okay i don't want to be checking out of no hotel i don't want to be doing none of that girl you know what i'm saying like i i, I don't want to be doing none of that i want to roll over and go to my kitchen and make my own cup of coffee Girl, yeah listen when you get older when you get up in age you get real angry okay and i'm real i'm i'm headed that way okay i'm headed that way i do realize that a lot of y'all um don't know much about me but anyway i'm 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 three years short of 50 and i feel like god has been very good to me in the aging department okay <laughs> he's been real good to me i cannot complain i cannot deny okay definitely but it there are days when i do feel that age you know what i'm saying i do feel that age and everything they say about getting older is absolutely true you know patience your patience gonna get shout not short but shout okay we're not gonna put up with a lot of that stuff we're not gonna put up with a lot of that do i want to go i-10 i think i want to go i-10 we we not we ain't putting up with none of that you know but i mean i'm still at the point where it and i'm open to change still you know what i'm saying that's one thing i think is constant like change is inevitable no matter what age you always gonna have to deal with some type of change um but so I'm not that far gone because you know when old people get older they don't want to change I'm not I'm not there okay and I hope I never get there but uh, anyway yeah I'm missing my glasses I'm really hurt because I broke my favorite pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses child on a horse insert picture <laughs> when I mounted the horse my damn glasses fell on the ground and cracked and I had had them glasses oh my god since like freaking 2016 2015 I had had them glasses for a long time and I, I know they would have went so good with this outfit and they broke I just threw them in the trash oh shit I forgot I need gas my little gas indicator then came on. I knew it was something I was forgetting. I'm going to have to stop somewhere and give me some gas. Because when I get back, it's going to be dark. And one thing about it, booky. Mama do not go to the ATM when it's dark. And I do not get gas when it's dark. And I'm definitely not going to no grocery store when it's dark. Those are facts, honey. If I can't do it in the daytime, it won't get done. I'm gonna need you to get out of my way. Um, but yeah, I don't, it's too dangerous. People out here doing the most. Especially going to an ATM and it's dark. It's people that's sitting in the cut waiting on you. They sitting in the cut waiting on you. And boom. Mm hmm. I can't do it. So I'm gonna have to, when I get by the airport, I'm gonna have to find me a gas station. And I'm gonna just put $5 in that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna put $5 in there. Because I know the gas at the, by the gas station gonna be real high. And I'm not, I'm not, uh uh. Y'all not finna get my coins like that. No, sir. No, sir. I'm trying to spend my money on a bottle of perfume. I'm not trying to give y'all my money like that. But anyway, I'm. I'm kind of, you know, excited about this whole vlogging thing. My daughter really has said to me several times that I need to vlog. And just, I will always tell her, I did not think my life was that interesting to become a vlogger. You know, most of the, the, the girls that I see that are vlogging, they live interesting lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, my life has been... Damn, he almost ran into the damn median. I bet you it's a female. Nah, it's a dude. He almost ran into the damn, that concrete wall. Anyway, I don't feel like my life has been that interesting. 
you know it's been eventful I will say that it's been very eventful um but yeah literally all my life I've just been working I've been working I've been like this single mom that just hustled you know what I'm saying that just hustled all the time I'm like that person that you know at your job that never go on vacation like that's me that was me I should say that's not me anymore I didn't let that I let that person go like I'm not I'm tired of working myself to the bone and not being appreciated I don't feel gratified I don't feel any gratification at my job anymore I'm not happy there um and it shows sometimes most days it do show I be trying to reel in my attitude but it's hard um especially when I feel like if I'm trying to make an adjustment and change myself why can't other people but I I feel like it also is the fact that when they when people are paying you why should they change why should they change if they they're the ones paying you then your job is just to fucking come to work and do as you told but you know I, I put 20 years in my job 20 should I do this is that better that may be a little bit better I put 20 years, 20 years into my job. And I'm I'm worked to the bone. I am worked to the bone. And I'm tired. And I I don't feel like I get the appreciation. I don't get showed the appreciation that I deserve. You know, as someone with seniority, that's the thing. Because if I was working at the motherfucking post office, or if I was working at goddamn me, uh, probably even fucking McDonald's, when you when you put in twenty years on a job, it's something called seniority, okay? And when these young kids come up in there, you know, crying, talking about they gotta go home because they on a period. fuck you mean you know how many periods I've had <laughs> you know how many periods I've had bro and never clocked out girl bye I be like girl bye this might turn into t- like uh, car conversations this is what I love on the ways to the airport but do you know how many periods I've had and never clocked out and then any little thing any little thing people gonna want to go home you can't you can't correct them you can't correct certain people you can't you can't do anything people want to go to HR on you girl it's just a whole it's a shitty mess and I don't like it at all I don't like it and I'm tired my feet tired sometimes I be standing on my feet for 10 12 hours a day 10 12 hours a day and do y'all know my boss and i hope one day he see this shit i don't give a this man has never offered to buy me lunch never did anything type of appreciation day you know nothing for my birthday this mother ain't never done nothing. 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 And you know what's crazy about it? Ask Jesus for mercy. I was reading that sign. You know what's crazy about that? When I sit and ponder, I'm I'm on my I'm having a little rant. Just just follow me, okay? When I sit and ponder that, I used to say, Wow, you know, he's a me- that's that's really a messed up thing to how to treat somebody but then I thought about what does that say about you me 
What does that say about me? Self-esteem fucked up. Self-esteem lacking, none thereof, non-existent. To stay in a, at a job for almost 20 years. 20 years! And never get my flowers. I had to analyze myself. I had to analyze myself. Because I was like, whoa. It, and it hit me like a ton of bricks, y'all. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I swear to God, I boo-hoo cried. I cried like a baby. I said, man, I've never, never had any type of self-esteem. As, as people may say, pretty you as you are, funny as you are, smart as you are. I ain't never had no type of type of self-esteem for myself because life and circumstance just hit me so hard hit me so hard and I just got in this mode of really it really was a maybe it was a survival mode I don't know maybe it was a a place in my mind where I had to go to survive you know what I'm saying I don't know, but that, let me tell you, the walls in that place started crackling and crumbling when COVID hit. I swear to God. Oh, baby, them walls was. <laughs> it, I'm talking about in the cave, the walls that where I was at mentally, <laughs> foundation just cracking, cracking. And I couldn't. I couldn't stop it and nor did I want to nor did I want to I wanted to I wanted that foundation I wanted them walls to crack and crumble and come falling fucking down so I finally could and see I'm in traffic if so I could finally rise from that 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 chaos and be the actual woman that I've always wanted to be. I want to be the woman that people look at me and have this perception of who they think I am. And it used to make me go home and, and like ponder. I'd be like, you know what somebody said to me today? Like X, Y, and Z. Like I'm always, they think I, I get everything that I want. I can get any man that I want. Like, somebody actually told me that today. Like, this is me telling my friends and people, you know. And I'm thinking, if they only knew. Like, I can't. And then I got to thinking. I say, well, maybe I can. <laughs> maybe I can. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I just go ahead. I need to go ahead and be that woman that people look at me as. But yeah, them fucking walls and shit, they started cracking and crumbling, honey. And I ain't been the same. I have not been the same. It's a whole new Amanda Washington. Okay? It's been a whole new, I'm a whole new person. You know, not saying that I'm, I'm not approachable or I'm anything negative it's not nothing malice it's all good for my benefit because i've been this shell of a person i've been this shell of an individual not living life not enjoying life um you know sometimes i would be in in the house all day now look at me now i'm vlogging girl <laughs> vlogging I'm vlogging on my way I'm catching literally I'm doing big ball shit okay catching a turnaround flight like what if I looked at myself two years ago and thought this would be happening I wouldn't believe it I wouldn't believe it I would not believe it but here I am, about to jump on the plane, go to Dallas for two, three hours, get back on the plane, come home, and chill. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
it's crazy it's crazy how life can be and i'm still going through struggles you know i got i still got some heavy personal shit going on not necessarily with me but uh my mom and um you know i have a grandmother who's like a mother to me who raised me um and i've just been struggling i just been struggling you know um and i would love to go into detail about my life because i feel like i think a lot of y'all think that um and, and, and okay and i will give it to you because i do feel like a lot of influencers put on they do put on this fake facade and this lifestyle and and because i've been kind of on youtube for like almost five years i know that that doesn't fit me i already know that because um i tried to create this persona or this person on youtube to try to fit in to get more followers to get more views y'all that shit was running me in the ground i was exhausted i couldn't keep up i say you know what i'm done with that shit. I'm done. I'm like, whoever's going to follow me is going to follow me. And whoever doesn't resonate with me, blessings to them. I'm not going to, you know, continue to be something that I'm not. I can't, I can't continue it. It's too much energy. But I, I would love to share different aspects of my life um, with y'all because I'm very much relatable. You would be surprised how relatable I am things happen you know i'm not some i'm not i'm real like i'm a real human being out here having a real human experience i just so happen to share with y'all on youtube not not now but if i decide to keep up this whole vlogging thing i just don't feel like my life is interesting like that i just don't you know what i'm saying i don't not at this point. God, who knows what God, what direction he would send me. But at this point, I'm single. Like, I don't even have a man in my life, girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working my full nine to five. And that, I definitely ain't taking y'all in there. Shit on that. I'm definitely like, I'm not taking y'all to my job. Y'all know, sir. No, sir. Uh-uh. Um... I work Monday through Friday, regular business hours. Y'all know what those are. I come home on the weekend. I try to record some footage. How long is this video going? I can't even tell the time on here. Child, I'm just a talking away. I don't even know. Anyway, on Saturday and Sunday, I try to record at least three videos. My goal has been to put up at least three videos per week. I've been slacking because I've been so exhausted. I don't know if it's this fucking uh, lunar eclipse, solar eclipse, mercury retrograde, but girl, they got me whooped. I am beat down. Like, ooh, I'm tired. I'm, I just today feel like I got some energy with me. And I don't know if it's because I'm excited to go smell perfume like, i don't know maybe they see it i'm just excited to get out the house uh but um yeah I, my life is boring y'all it is boring <laughs> boring like you know i try to get with my friends um you know a couple of times a month but other than that child i be in my place watching tv taking naps try trying to re trying to get my energy up Cause like I said, I be on my feet at work all day long, all day long. But yeah. Anyway, we we're in much traffic, which I knew I was gonna be in traffic. I just pray to God. Um, shoot, I should have put in the airport. I pray that I get to the airport at least by two thirty. But I mean, when my daughter checked. The seats, she said there were over 50 seats available on this flight. So, I know I'm going to get on. And then on the flight back, I think there were over 
40 seats available on the flight bag. If y'all don't know, I'm not rich, okay? How I'm able to catch flights, my daughter is a flight attendant. So, baby, she finally benefited from a job. She finally got a job that we both can benefit from. Period, okay? So that's how I'm able to able to fly wherever I want to. I'm not I'm not out here like that. Not yet anyway. <laughs> when I get the coins, okay? La 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 wait till I get my money right. Woo! Bitches can't tell me nothing, right? Can't tell me shit. Cause I didn't I didn't done it. What is going on back here? I swear every time I get on the freeway. Go ahead now. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off here. And I will see you guys at the airport. Alright y'all, we're at the scent room. And I've never been here before, so we're gonna walk in. I'm excited.
Alright guys, wait a minute, where am I going? General boarding? Where in the hell do I go in in general boarding? On my way back to Houston. Ciao. You know what? I, I'm not mad at this airport, but it's a little bit confusing. Alright, could it be the fact that I've had a few glasses of champagne? Could have been turnaround trips be killer okay but i enjoy myself it was a nice little turnout it's really dark in here let me turn some light on oh my god there's a lot of light anyway i had a good time my first time going to the scent room in dallas makeup still held up pretty nice my all oh, my skin is so oily ugh but um Y'all want to see what I bought? I bought a couple of things. Luke is going to send me um, his fragrances. So I didn't have to worry about buying anything um, from him. He said he's going to send me some. So I purchased, I smell so much, y'all. My nose was in overdrive, okay? I was like, girl. After a while, I'm not going to be able to smell anything, anything. But I picked up um, Cosmorati's Italica. I know this is not new to the community. A lot of you guys already have this. I want to say this fragrance went viral when I first started, which was probably in 2019, 2020, when I first started my fragrance channel. Um, but... I got a chance to smell it for the first time today and uh, it smells so good. It smells amazing. I was not, this was not on my list of things to buy. I actually had been on the scent room website for the last like week trying to figure out like what I wanted to smell and what I was going to buy. So this was not on my list, but the sales associate recommended it to me and y'all we be all night ah, oh this smells so good i cannot wait to crack this open y'all know i'm gonna talk about it in some videos coming up i actually bought one more fragrance and this is a fragrance i smelled when i had went to sack not sax girl where did i go i went to Neiman Marcus and I had I was exploring some Montel fragrances I don't have any Montel fragrances in my collection but this is the one that spoke to my soul this spoke to my spirit okay so I had to get it it is Arabian's Tonka oh y'all the way this thing smell gorgeous it is like an oud if I remember correctly, it is an oud, and it has some other notes in it, but the oud kind of stands out to me the most, and it's not necessarily animalic. It's very sexy, and it has a little bit of musk to it in the dry down. Baby, oh, this thing is right. You hear me? Right. And so I had to get it. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Montau bottles, I think they, first of all, if, girl, is there anything in here? Like, they feel super light, and I don't like that little dangly thing that hangs down. Like, I feel like I'm going to break that eventually. Because, I mean, was it back in the day you had to take the little dangly thing off to spray the fragrance? Let me know in the comments, but I think they changed that. Like, um, I don't know, when I open this up, we, we'll do a video. I, should I record a video with this camera i mean the picture is quite nice i'm not gonna lie um but yeah when i I'm, i might record a video with this camera and see how it does but i like this fragrance a lot my very first montal fragrance my very first is this zhuzhov this is not zhuzhov is it cosmorati but who makes cosmorati Italica Zhuzhov. Okay, it's my second Zhuzhov. Okay, my second Zhuzhov. And I also got a bunch of 
uh, samples like the Sims. So she, she hooked me up with the samples. So I'm happy about that. She put a fragrance in here called uh, Oud Republic. That, that bottle was hitting for almost $400. I was like, girl, I told her my budget. I was like, listen, I can I can walk out of here with one. Or I can walk out of here with a, with a two, a couple, okay? So I ended up walking out with a couple. And then she gave me some samples. But that Oud is called Oud Republic. Is it Oud Republic? Yeah, that's the one. Y'all, that thing, that thing, girl, I was like, ooh, how much is that? She was like 380. I was like, oh, shit, I can't do it today, baby girl. I can't do it today, but I'm going to have to save up for that one, okay? Mama going to have to save up. But it was a very successful event. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed meeting Luke with the Elemental Fragrances for the very first time. Super nice guy. His fragrances are amazing. Um, I believe they are available at Max Aroma. You can buy them online at the Elemental. You can also get them at the Scent Room in Dallas, I believe. Um, so be on the lookout for that. We're also going to do a live together. We talked about that. So that'll be something that will happen in the near future. I keep looking at myself in the camera because I'm just trying to get used to this camera, girl. Um, but yeah, good. If you're not following uh, the Elemental Fragrances, go check them out. I want to say one of the most popular fragrances is Cashmere Sex, and I have Oud People, I love that one. And there are a few other ones that were at the top of my list, but the one that sticks out the most in my mind is going to be Cashmere Sex. That thing is so good, so yeah. Thank you guys for coming with me on my first vlogging journey. It was very fun, very eventful. I'm happy to be home. I'm about to take these boots off, girl. I'm about to take this wig off, honey. Finish eating my Chinese food and call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.